Oh, hello. Welcome into my workshop and welcome to the show Creations of Clay. My name is Louis Palladini and tonight I like to do an animal that everyone is familiar with. I want to do a beautiful white swan. I will show you how to do that from start to finish. And now I'll show you the types of clay that we can use. There's an oil-based clay such as this, which I used to use all the time as a kid. You can use this, you know, what's great about this is it never hardens. We can use an air hardening clay, which hardens like in a couple of hours overnight. What's great about this is this one here, once it dries, you can paint it. There's Super Sculpey, which is usually my preference. But tonight we're going to use a different version of the Sculpey, which is called Sculpey 3. And I'll show you that. That's going to be, we're going to be using, comes in these little packages like this. This is called Sculpey 3. This is white in color. This is black. And we'll also be using orange but I've already opened that a little bit, so I just wanted to show you that. I'll show you the size balls of clay we'll be using tonight. There's this white ball of clay here, and this is going to be mainly for the head, the neck, and the whole body. And then you see a little orange piece of clay. That's going to be for the beak. We will be using the color black, but I want to, I'll, I'll take that off the, out of this here in a few minutes. But the first thing we'll do is I want to show you how to make the body of the bird and the neck. So I'm going to take this piece of clay here and I'm just going to work it like that. See, so what I want to do is start to pull this out to make the neck. See how I'm pulling on that? Just pulling it out just like that. And then what I want to start to do is, is shape the body. So as I'm doing that, we're going to kind of bring this to a point in the back here because this is where the tail is going to be. I want to show you, see how I'm doing that? See how that's starting to come to a point? So you're going to work your fingers all around like that. And then what I want to do is I just want to make sure I'm making the neck long enough. Make that a little bit longer. See, I'm pulling on that. See, you can start to see the shape of the bird or the swan is starting to emerge. <clears throat> what I want to do is now I also want to take and tap this on the table. I want to kind of flatten this out in the bottom right here. See that? I want to flatten that out. Now what I want to do is compare it to my other swan, the one that I finished. I want to see if the neck is about the right size. If you look at them side by side, they're approximately the same size for the neck. So what I'm going to do is start to kind of pull this up and over for the head. See how it makes a nice neck. See how I'm doing that? Very quick and effective technique. But then I want to show you See how uh, we got the nice point on the tail? That's what it looks like from the bottom. What I want to do is tap this again. You can kind of maybe go like that a little bit. See that? See how nice that looks? What we're going to do is we're going to proceed to make the, the rest of the head. We're going to make the beak. 
Now the beak is orange in color. See this right here? We're going to make that right there, the beak. And I'll show you how we'll do that. We're going to take this little, here, I'm going to flatten this out a little bit, and then I'll show you. Flatten it out. Now that we kind of almost want to make almost like a U shape, flatten it out. See, I'm flattening that. So now, see that shape that we have? It's kind of small. Let me see if I can contrast it with the paper. It might make it a little better if I pull this paper up for a second. And I'll show you. I think that might make it a little easier to see. See that? And that's what it looked like from the side. And what we're going to do is I'm going to proceed to place this on the front like this. Attach it right here. See how I just did that? So I'm going to take and work that in like that. We want to make sure it's attached nicely. I'm going to go all around and make sure even on the underside, that that's attached. Just like that. See how that is? Now, the next thing that we want to do is I do want to get some more, I have some more white clay here. I want to add a little more, take a little piece of white clay and add it to the top of the head. I want to build this up a little more. Add a little more. See this? Take this piece of clay and add it to the top. And just kind of work it in with the fingers. Just like that. Work it in. Now, the next thing that I want to do <coughs> is make. We're going to put, take some black clay. I'm going to take a very small piece. You're going to barely be able to see it. But I'll put it down here. See that little piece of black clay? Now I'm going to take and I'm going to put that on the front of the beak here. I might even take a little piece of that off. Because when I was looking at the pictures today, they have like a little black mark on the front of the beak. So we want to take and put that like that. And next, we want to take a couple of pieces of clay here. I'll take these off. And you can see, very tiny. I put my finger near them so you can kind of see the size. We're going to take and make those a triangular shape. I'll show you. Flatten these out. You flatten it out like that, and you kind of make a triangular shape. And I'll show you. We're going to take and put that right there. See that? How we did that? And we're going to proceed to do the same thing to the other side. So I'm going to take, take this piece of clay, flatten it out, and make that triangular shape like I did for that one. And we're going to put that on the other side. I'm going to put that right there. See how I did that? And now what I want to proceed to do is take another piece of black clay. I'm going to take another little piece. I'll put it down here for a second so you can see what it looks like. 
I'll put it right down there so you can see it. I'll point to it. Now what we're going to do is take that ball of clay here, and we're going to put that in front. I'm going to lengthen it out a little bit like this. See that? And See how that is? And now what I want to do is we want to make the eye on the swan. So I'm going to take it very right here. See that? Take and just make a little pinhole there. Turn that a little bit. And then we'll proceed to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm going to take this, put that in, and make that. And now what we want to do is we want to make the texture for the feathers. What I want to do first, though, is I want to draw out the very large wings right here like this. See that? I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to go up and around like this. See how I just did that? I'll kind of rotate it so you can see. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm going to take, I'll take here and draw like that. And then I'll go around this way. Like that. So we can draw. So they should be approximately the same size. <clears throat> now I'll come back here. We're going to do longer strokes for the feathers here. See, I'm doing the long, nice long strokes for the wings. Just like that. See, I'm doing that. And then we'll proceed to go to the other side and do the same thing. Because I want to see, to see, be able to see some differentiation between, because we're going to do the really fine feathers for the rest of the body a different way. So now what I'm going to do is even like the tail here, we're going to take and do some strokes like this. See how I'm doing that? We're going to go around just like that. to create the tail feathers. And now what I want to do is for the rest of the feathers, I want to just do these tiny, tiny little strokes like this. See this? Do very, very little tiny strokes like this. <clears throat> and you're going to proceed to do that all down the neck in that manner. You're going to do it on the other side also. Under here. See, I'm doing that. Very small strokes. Top of the head. Do the same thing. You want to do that. And then we want to do the small strokes all th along here too on the body. See, I'm doing that. Very small strokes to create those very, because they're, they're like very fine feathers. So you want to just do every so slightly like that. Now you're going to do it on the back like that. You're going to do it on the underside here. Like that. Just like that. You're going to do it here. So basically, you're going to do it on the rest of the swan. You're going to be doing those very small, quick strokes like this. And you're going to go around the entire bird in this manner. Then I'll show you. And then, once you've done that, 
it'll be ready for firing in the oven. It can be fired at 275 for about 15 minutes and uh, then it'll be hard. But I'll show you what the final version, once it's been fired, will look like. This is the Swan. See like how I have the longest strokes here on the, the wings. And then you have the very small strokes for the fine feathers here. So you can see that in the, on the back of the neck. I'll rotate it so you can see all around. Very small, quick strokes. And you can see how we did the, the, the little black mark on the beak. And then it almost looks like he has a black mask on, you know, wearing like dark sunglasses or something for, for the eyes. The eye, what I noticed is very like at the end of where the black was. And then there's like a little almost um, spot here where it's on top of the, the beak and to the side. But that's what your final version of the swan will look like. And I do want to thank you for coming to Creations of Clay tonight. And I do look forward to seeing you again next week. Goodbye for now.